This morning, what stood out to me was the words in the responsorial psalm, a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. A sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. In uh, Jacques Philippe's book on St. Therese, The Way of Trust and Love, great book, he says, if you're looking for a penance to do in Lent, try this. Praise and thank God for everything that happens in your life. Nothing will do you as much good as that. So he says the best penance you could ever take up in Lent is to just thank God for everything. And so when we hear this, these words, a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, we could really take these to heart during this Lenten season. The word sacrifice is really interesting. We can think of it in a negative way and a positive way. So sacrifice, we often think of it just in a negative form of giving up something. So it's true, when you have to intentionally thank God for things, you have to give up your own way of thinking, and it, to be intentionally grateful could be a real sacrifice today when we're so used to thinking uh, negatively about COVID. There's also a positive interpretation of sacrifice. The Latin word for sacrifice, sacra facere, means to make holy. So it's actually a very positive word as well, to make holy. And that's where Jacques Philippe says the best thing you could do for Lent is actually to thank God for everything because it's really going to make you holy. It'll give you a whole new way of thinking. And so it's an invitation today. When I was in the grade six class, they were actually talking about gratitude and thanksgiving. And we had an um, a, a exercise that we did together, which all of you can do today. It's called 10 finger thanksgiving. So you just have to count on each finger one thing that you're thankful for. And sometimes when you feel like you need to make a sacrifice, that can just be a beautiful thing to do to God. Just 10 things you're thankful for right on the spot. So I hope this encourages all of you. And this is the best place actually to give Thanksgiving because that's what Eucharist means. And so hopefully one of those 10 can be Jesus' real presence for us in the most holy Eucharist.